Social prescribing means linking people to non-medical support in their communities. This support can be through a range of services and activities. Alongside clinical healthcare, these activities in the community help improve people's overall well-being. The Welsh Government is committed to making social prescribing happen successfully across Wales. Person-centred. At the heart of the model is an individual that uses the social prescribing service. People might need support for lots of different reasons. For example, having anxiety, feeling lonely, or having trouble with money. A referral pathway is the route by which people are connected with the social prescribing service and support that they need. They are the self-referral pathway, people who realize they need some help and know how to contact the social prescribing service. The healthcare referral pathway, a health professional sees that a patient could use non-medical help and refers them. The statutory sector referral pathway, someone who works in the statutory sector sees that a person could do with some help and refers them. The third sector referral pathway, this is when someone who works in the charity, voluntary or not-for-profit sector refers a person. The targeted referral pathway. This is for people who have a specific need or condition and a social prescribing service proactively offers support. Offering them a referral as early as possible will help people with their health and well-being. There are five ways a social prescribing service can help people. These are relationship building by understanding their life and what matters to them in order to improve their well-being. Directing people to local activities and groups. This is called signposting and for people who are comfortable joining in with their local community. Direct support. If signposting isn't enough, then the social prescribing team will work with the person to help them connect with the activities in their community. Community development. The social prescribing team will work with local organisations to develop the range of activities that can support people. Feedback. This lets the referrer know what is happening and whether the person who was referred is getting the support they need. Community-based, non-clinical support. Once the social prescribing team has gotten to know the person, they will suggest or match them up with some options for activities in their local community. Community-based support could take place indoors or outdoors. It could be provided face-to-face -face or online. Sometimes it's formal, sometimes it's informal. Community-based support might also include activities that have been created to meet specific needs. For example, arts and dance activities designed to support better mental health. For the social prescribing service model to work, there needs to be a full range of dependable well-being activities and support in the community.